Are you confused where to start learning differential geometry? In spite of having books, are you thinking exactly what to read? Do you know the time that is required to complete each chapter? Are you lacking a direction, a path to learn differential geometry? Are you not completely arranged in your mind? Well, these are the very common questions that keeps a beginner's mind busy and confused. In this video, I am going to give you a complete, practical, day-to-day, hour-wise study guide to build the foundation of differential geometry. Not only that, I am going to give you a complete roadmap which chapter to learn, how many time is required and what is the benefit of learning those chapters. This video is going to be very important for you and I request you please not to skip because this is going to be a complete guide which will help you in mastering the basic concepts and learn differential geometry. My name is Shonak and you are watching this video on my channel Physics for Student. Welcome to the 16th lesson of Introducing Differential Geometry and this is a 15 day long study guide on how to learn differential geometry. All you have to do is just follow it. Okay, because we don't have any chapters today, I would st like to start by a basic problem that everybody has that is a mindset. And I want to break that mindset so that you get success in learning differential geometry. Well, what I'm trying to tell is that please do not be conscious that you are starting an extraordinary subject. This is not an extraordinary subject. This is a very, uh, you know, a complete understanding of differential geometry. And many people have done that. So please do not be conscious. Just relax chill out and start learning differential geometry. Understand that everybody prior to learn has learned this subject. It is nothing extraordinary or super difficult that you are doing and believe in yourself that you definitely can. You already have passed various subjects in mathematics, physics or otherwise which are your majors and this is nothing special. And people in the past, if you see people who are below your merit have done this and you are not an exception. I will also tell to you uh, that all, all you need is a little bit of abstract thinking which can be perceived and uh, taken into account through practice. And you have done far more difficult subject maybe in your college or university. So be confident. Just relax that you're not dealing with a very extraordinarily difficult subject. All you need to do is have a little bit of abstract thinking and the mathematics is already uh, that you know and maybe you have to uh, you know deal a little bit. So that is the mindset which I want to break. Most of the people think this is uh, something extraordinary, something very difficult outside this earth. No. Everybody has done. Look your friends, your uh, seniors, they have done it. You can do that. Okay, so you see that I have already made a video that is a 12th lesson on how to study differential geometry. You can say that I am extending that. Why? Because this was a very generic approach and it was just an overall study guide. Nothing much was given, but it was, I mean to say, it was good. I got a lot many people and thanks to you who subscribed and uh, made uh, comments on that video. Also, what I am trying to tell is that this video 12th is not an in-depth knowledge that it provides. And most importantly, this was basically an overall approach to the study, just mentioning some of the top topics and it was not rigorous. I mean to say, it is. it does not give you an actual approach to that. So I just wanted to tell you for viewers who have not watched this video, lesson number 12, you can go and watch it because that would give you a kind of a generic idea and only when you know a generic idea, a kind of a structural idea of a subject, then it is better that you go into it. So please go to lesson number 12, which is there in my playlist in differential geometry and you can watch it. Okay. So what would we focus today? I have made this video or maybe another video on that, but what is the focus today? Today's focus would be that 
what are the number of days that we will be concentrating exactly we will find it out we will also find out that what is the number of hours that we need to study for each and every chapter otherwise it will be you just go on studying 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 and nothing is going to come out we are also going to look that what are the mathematical prerequisites do we have it or do we need to build on that and also we will see there are certain topics and what are the subtopics because there are a lot of topics which are further divided into that we will also see the learning objective and what are the learning outcome because without this the entire learning is just on the paper you really do not have any objective you really do not see something concrete coming up and you just keep on learning so having said all this what i'm trying to tell is that i want to give you a proper direction and quantify your learning i mean to say quantify means you actually see that this 3 hours of study has produced this net result so how to quantify how to find out actually what you have done okay so how to start the reading and the process i would take this kind of a calendar right and i would recommend you and request you that please start your differential geometry on a friday now why it is so you might be wondering the reason is that if you start on friday obviously the next two days saturday and sundays maybe it is a weekend you relax with your friend you go out for a tour we watch movies or spend some time with the family eventually the learning that you do fades out and that is what i exactly want if it fades out then on monday again we are sitting for the st study that again you have to recap and again you have to recap and again you have to recap so that the learning becomes solid if you keep on learning at certain point of time you will see these learning really do not carry any meaning so give time to assimilate in your brain chill out with your friends go for a drink or anything but take time to assimilate in your brain so better to start on a friday now as you continue from friday and so on on the 7th of the day you will see that you are losing hope that means the entire mathematics and everything is becoming very difficult i'm giving you a complete road map right so you you will start losing hope and on the 12th day you will become very frustrated and angry i am telling you this is the usual course of study you are unable to understand anything everything was losing but there is a good news from these days 10th day 11th 12th and 13th you actually have started to understand a lot of things but because of certain reasons because the mathematics are proof a little bit complex so you are feeling frustrated but understand that right from the 7th 8th and the 9th day your learning curve will go up then on the 15th day you will feel happy because you have covered a lot of thing and maybe on the 18th day you need a little bit of extension that means the exact target might not complete on the 15th day but maybe on the 18th or 17th 18th day maximum 20 days you need to extend so this is the way start on a friday so that you can get your brain assimilate and even if you forget redo that on monday on the 7th day you will lose hope that is true on 12th you will feel frustrated and angry that is also true but you really don't know your brain have started understanding differential geometry from the 9th or the 10th day and 15th will be a very happy day for you which might get extended to one or two days so this is the learning curve and this is the way we should start okay what is the approach that we are taking see actually this is already being done that we are not learning manifold for the first time we will start with curves we will see that plane curves and space curves so plane curves basically is a curve in a two dimensional plane uh, in other words the points of the plane are all on the same plane and space curves do not actually lie on a single plane it actually lies in a three dimensional space now these curves also have local and global properties local means it depends only on the behavior of the curve and this one global results depends often on the requirement of the concepts from topology i would uh, i would request you and also i have done in my videos that i have not assumed that you know topology because the moment i assume you know topology differential geometry becomes far more complex there are many things which come across so i would require that you do not understand topology and select those books which doesn't understand topology because books that assume you have a knowledge of topology creates even further complications okay so we got plane curves which has got local properties we have space curves we had got global properties and now we start with the first day that is day 1 
preferably a Friday. Okay, so on the first day, what we do is that we look into the introduction to differential geometry. This is super important. And what is the mathematics? Actually, this requires no mathematics because it is most of a theoretical study. But anyway, multivariable calculus and linear algebra will be perfectly good. Now, what I want you is to spend some time with understanding the basic concept the history, how the uh, differential geometry came into, what are the fundamental ideas, the definition of scope, what are the applications of differential geometry, how does it apply in different fields and historical background and developments of differential geometry. Now all these I have co covered up in my first, second and third lesson of differential geometry. Please go ahead and search out the first two and three lessons. All these are exactly being covered. So I would approximately take you take two hours in order to listen to a little bit of history, applications, etc. And you gain a basic understanding of the key concept of um, differential geometry and the learning objective is also the same. Gain a solid foundation, the basic principle. I've taken the number of hours to be two. I think it can extend, but more or less this is okay. But knowing the history is very, very important, very fundamental. If you need books, do let me know. I will send it to it. But this is how the day one should be done. Now, once you know what are the fundamental concepts or how from where it is emerged, now you're in a position that you can actually do the mathematics. So, sir, first, as I have told earlier in the approach that we will start with curved in space. Mathematical prerequisites more or less are the same. So, first we will get introduction to curves. This is a very important. Then we get tangents, right? Then we get curvatures. Then we get torsion and application of curves in space. I assume because this is the first lesson, you would require one hour each for them and a total number of hours would be five. This would be again a basic understanding of the key concept of differential geometry and again gaining a solid foundation in the basic principles of differential geometry. So once you have done with day two, day two is done and you are coming back with a lot of questions and confusions in your mind, that is curves and space, now is the time that you should start day three. Now, day three, after the curvature is being done, now this one or two days, this is up to me. I mean to say you can make your own schedule, but this is a rough approach. So, surfaces and this would require partial differential equations. And now you get to introduction to surfaces in space because you did with three dimension. Then you learned the parametrization. Parametrization has been covered in my videos. A lot of video, uh, one video is there which covers these things. Tangent planes are normal vectors, obviously, and here comes the first and second fundamental forms and curvature of surfaces, right? This is important. First and second fundamental form will take some time, so that is why I'm given number of hours five. You need to have a learning objective would be you would be able to analyze and describe curves in three dimensional space. And most importantly, the, the lima cone and there are different types of curves. You will be able to parametrize them and calculate the tangent planes, normal vectors and the first and the second fundamental form. This first and second fundamental form is very simple, but very central to the to differential geometry. OK, now what we do is now now we move to day four. And in day four, it is quite simple. So first three days, you have spent a lot of time. These are vector fields, right? So all you need to do is a little bit of vector calculus, which you already have done in college or school days. So you just understand gradient, divergence, curl, line, etc. And you go through Green's theorem and Stokes theorem. These two theorems are so important. As we will see, you will be required to prove and a lot of other things are required. So the number of hours I give it is two. It can be even less because vector calculus is something you already know. So learn the concepts and techniques of vector fields and their applications in differential geometry. So what would be the outcome? That means what will you do? What will you come out of that? Understanding concept of vector field, analyzing and visualizing vector fields, applying vector fields to real life problem and recognize what are the different types of vector field. So day four mostly it will be much more relaxed it's part that you have done. Day five will be something really, really heavy. That is why I wanted you to day four to learn a vector field so that you really relax. These are geodesics and more or less the mathematical prerequisites are same. But there are a lot of things, geodesic curvature, geodesic equation, definition, geodesic mapping and flow and exponential map. 
Now you see I have given 4.5 to 5 hours for these five, six, four, five topics. I marked in red because I want you, you can extend it further. Because the structure and the equations I know of geodesics are not that simple. So you take your time, you can take it to 6 or 7 hours. But 6 hours I think that is good enough. So what is the objective is to learn and understand the concept and deriving and analyzing geodesic equations, right? That is the learning objective. Outcome is that we will be able to identify geodesics and calculate their curvature and understand the behavior of geodesics on surfaces. Now you see now the heavy things are coming. Day 6 we start with something really heavy as I told we don't start earlier with that. That is manifolds, a very interesting subject. Now here I have written topology in italic because some of the books assume topology but we will go ahead with those which doesn't have any topology. Now these are the subtopics, definition and examples, then it will be charts and atlases, tangent space and tangent vectors, coordinate transformation and differential structure of smooth function. These smooth functions and differentiables manifold I have also covered in my video. You can go and check it in the playlist of physics for students. I have given the number of hours 5 to 6, maybe less, maybe more. And the objective is basically grasp the foundational concept of manifold because without manifold nothing will happen. General relativity, entire physics, mathematics depends on that. And what is the learning outcome? You know what is a manifold and how it is different from a regular space. What are charts and atlases? You can give the answer now. How do they help? And how do we uh, define a tangent space on a vector fields, vector manifold, vectors and manifold. This is so five and six are a little bit hazy. A heavy four chapter day four is easy now we come to day seven right we start it with another heavy topic called Riemannian geometry but very interesting so the mathematical prerequisites the same subtopics would be Riemannian matrix and metric tensor levi chivita connection geodesics and exponential mer, curvature tensor geodesics in Riemannian manifold curvature in Riemannian manifold and parallel transparent covariant derivative and Riemann curvature tensor Again, I have taken the number of hours to be 6 to 7 plus minus. Some of these concepts you already know by maybe or you are doing tensor calculus. But curvature and you know uh, it will come the parallel transport also in some ways related. That will be also it will take time. It is a heavy one. So explore the geometry of Riemannian manifolds and what is the outcome? We will be able to analyze geometrical properties, apply Riemannian geometry to real world system, calculate the curv curvature of any dent etc. and understanding the correction uh, and covariant. This is very important. I have covered this. What is a connection and what is a covariant derivative? Go to my playlist. You will find it. Even in different general relativity, I have covered it. So in this video, I'm not covering the entire 15 days, otherwise it would be too long, right? So what I mean to say is that till now, you see, you have already covered almost 32 hours of study, right? It is a time to rejoice because you have done and you have crossed the most difficult part of the journey and you should be happy and take a break. Once you take a break, again, you come down, you get confused, you forget certain things. Again, you uh, recall and re reread those books. That is how the memory gets stored up. So I'm very thankful to those who have watched this video. Please click on the bell icon and click on the uh, subscribe button to get uh, to subscribe to my channel. Please click on the bell icon to get all the notification from Physics for Students. If you want to contact me, as many of you are contact me for the book, etc. This is my email ID and I have got an exclusive uh, channel on general theory of relativity which is this one general relativity explained and you can further follow me in my instagram facebook and linkedin account thank you very much i will be soon coming up with the rest of the lesson part from 8 to 15 so that in 15 days you master what are the fundamentals of geometry do let me know how do you like the videos if you have any feedback please please let me know in the comment box and coming up soon will be the second and the last 15 days how do you go what is the approach till then goodbye and may god be with you